The diplomatic standoff over Venezuela continues as the United States says the process of removing Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro is irreversible. RT correspondent Dan Cohen is joining us live from the newsroom with all the latest developments out of Venezuela. Dan. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro pulled no punches speaking about the Trump administration. In an interview with the BBC, Maduro said the U.S. empire is plotting to take over Venezuela and compared the Trump administration to the Ku Klux Klan. He added that the U.S. has been defeated by worldwide public opinion. Now, opposition leader Juan Guaido spoke to students at the Metropolitan University in Caracas. Today, we the Venezuelans know that without democracy, we don't need either. That without freedom of expression, there is no counterweight. And that the respect to each citizen is essential. Here in Washington, Senator Marco Rubio said the attempt to oust Maduro is irreversible. This is an irreversible process we are on now. Okay? There is no way the U.S. or 50 some odd countries are going to re recognize Maduro after everything that's happened. There is no way that he survives, and there's no way that this goes back to the way it was. Uh, he will not be able to buy time to escape this time. There's just too much attention now. Well, it's unclear if, let alone when, Maduro will leave office. The latest sanctions regime that the U.S. rolled out could shrink the Venezuelan economy by 30 percent. Venezuelan economist Francisco Rodriguez told The New York Times, quote, I'm afraid that if these sanctions are implemented in their current form, we're looking at starvation. Meanwhile, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov put forward a resolution calling for dialogue between the Venezuelan government and the opposition. Lavrov slammed the U.S. for calling Moscow's resolution an attempt to prevent humanitarian aid from entering the country and said the U.S. is seeking to use humanitarian aid as a pretext for military action. It's a lie. It's an attempt to divert attention from the fact that the U.S. draft resolution, which they presented to the Security Council of the United Nations, tries to hide the intended provocations with the delivery of humanitarian aid as a means of destabilizing the situation in Venezuela and even using it as a pretext for direct military intervention. Such a decision will never be accepted by the U.N. Security Council, as you yourselves would understand. So inside Venezuela, both opposition and government supporters are staging demonstrations as the diplomatic crisis unfolds outside of the country. Reporting live from the newsroom, Dan Cohen, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.